Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And as you recall, the Biden administration uh, was kicking out soldiers left and right for not taking the experimental drug that they were trying to push onto the nation and, of course, onto soldiers. But since this administration, uh, of course, the adults are back in charge, right? It's what we were told by the media. The media kept telling us that Trump was going to get us into World War III. Trump was going to lead us into more conflict, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, of course, it was just straight projection to what Democrats really wanted. We're now seeing such a low recruitment. It's a, it's a, it's happening within the army and other branches of the military where they have record low recruitment. People do not want to go and join the military right now. The everyday American, the the American who uh, was raising his family to love this country, to be patriotic, to serve the nation if the nation needed it, uh, to go uh, to become a member of the military force uh, to continue to uh, represent the good that this nation has done. Well, this government, this government ran by people like Joe Biden has shown that they disdain everyday Americans. They disdain what America was built and stands for, right? They disdain the family unit. They disdain our worshiping of God. They disdain all of that. And they've elevated uh, mental illness within the military. We see what's happening in there. They're paying for all these surgeries for these soldiers uh, who have really messed up uh, things going on in their head. And they promoted this, promoted this, promoted this, their pronouns and everything else, their white rage that they continue to uh, lecture us about, lecture uh, white Americans that you are what's wrong with this nation, right? And all of that has led to low recruiting. Imagine my shock. Well, they are now reaching out to soldiers that they have kicked out of the military for those soldiers who refuse to take the 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 uh, experimental drug. And they're reaching out to them saying, hey, how about you guys come on back? Don't worry about taking the experimental drug anymore. Just come on back because they need bodies to fuel the war machine. So before we dive into today's article, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can become a member by smashing that join button. Become a member of the channel, get a special badge, special recognition, and even special access behind the scenes. Uh, or if you just want to smash that super thanks, you can do that as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this story coming to us from Breitbart over here. Army scrambling to get back soldiers. It kicked out over Biden's military vaccine mandate. Um, not too long ago, I can remember that. The Army now appears to be trying to bring back into service soldiers. It kicked out over to Biden's administration policy to remove service members who rejected the vaccine mandate. According to a letter from the Army, several former soldiers posted online the letter addressed to former service members states that there's a new army guidance that would correct military records of those kicked out, which would enable those who were removed and had their DD or double D 2014s uh, marked with certain code, barring them from re-entering the service to be able to return. The letter instructed former soldiers on how they could get their records corrected and then added individuals who desire to apply to return to service should contact their local army U.S. Reserve uh, or Army National Guard recruiter for more info. Individuals may locate their Army recruiter by visiting the various websites there. Sam Shoemate, a retired Army chief warrant officer too, who fought the mandate and one of the administration's on military watchdog websites, Terminal CWO, posted a copy of the letter on X. And there, there's his, uh, there's a letter that he posted on X here, formerly known as Twitter. The letter going out to soldiers says former soldiers who were involuntary separate for refusal to receive their vaccine um, may request a correction on their military records, right? And of course, the Biden administration imposed the mandate on the military in August of 2021, and the Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin then issued a policy that said any service member who did not follow the mandate by December 2020 would be kicked out, right? As a result, more than 8,000 troops were, in fact, kicked out. Tens of thousands of National Guard members were sidelined and lost drill time and pay, and the numbers simply decided not to re-enlist. Thousands more sought religious and administrative or medical exemption, and most were either denied or were waiting for a decision when the House Republicans forced the Pentagon to rescind the mandate via the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act, the mandate 
and decision to kick out thousands of service members came at the same time as a historic recruitment crisis, right? And we saw that, and we see that now. And with the Democrats led by Biden and these other individuals who continue to beat the war drums, they need bodies for the war machine, right? The meat grinder. And people were saying, no, no, we're, we're not going to fight your wars anymore. We're not going to fight these foreign wars for you and your buddies to continue to get rich. Go have they thems fight your wars. Go have those people fight your wars, the ones that you coddled, the ones that you've elevated, the ones that you continue to shelter within the military, who you believe shows the most patriotism and as a fighting force of this nation. Send them. Send the day at them. You can count them more than once, right? <laughs> anyway, um, really hope these service members will really pray on it, think about it before they decide to go ahead and sign back up um, because this administration does not have the intentions or good intentions for the service members who they would bring back to the military. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey, Gab, Twitter, all the places. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.